Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on calcaneal fracture. Introduction. The calcaneum is the most commonly fractured tarsal bone. Around 15% of all calcaneal fractures are open fractures. This picture shows the bones in the foot. Calcaneus is the purple-colored bone. For classification, calcaneal fractures are divided into intraarticular and extraarticular fractures. On the basis of subtalar joint involvement, intraarticular fractures are more common and can be further classified by the Sanders classification. This slide shows the Sanders classification. Type 1. Non-displaced posterior facet, regardless of number of fracture lines. Type 2. One fracture line in the posterior facet making two fragments. Type 3. Two fracture lines in the posterior facet making three fragments. And type 4. Comminuted with more than three fracture lines in the posterior facet which means there are four or more fragments. For clinical features, patients will typically present following recent trauma, such as a fall from height or road traffic accident. Patients will report pain and tenderness around the calcaneal region, with an inability to weight bear. On examination, the region will be significantly swollen and bruised, with potential for a short and widened heel. They may also have an apparent varus deformity. It is also important to assess for posterior heel skin integrity. For investigations, do a plain film radiograph of three views, AP view, lateral view, and oblique view. Expected findings are calcaneal shortening, varus tuberosity deformity, and decreased Buller's angle. CT scan is the gold standard investigation for assessing calcaneal fractures. Picture shows lateral view of plain X-ray, showing an extraarticular calcaneal fracture. Picture B shows CT scan showing a comminuted intraarticular calcaneal fracture. For management, majority of intraarticular calcaneal fractures will require surgical intervention. However, those with less than 2 mm displacement or near-normal Buller's angle may be considered for conservative treatment. Certain extraarticular fractures will be treated non-operatively, unless there is significant displacement, with cast immobilization and non-weight bearing for 10 to 12 weeks. For surgical intervention, closed reduction with percutaneous pinning can be attempted for large but minimally displaced fractures. However, an open reduction internal fixation is usually required for most calcaneal fractures warranting surgical intervention. Especially for open fractures, posterior facet displacement, a reduced Buller's angle, or any calcaneal cuboid joint involvement. For complication, the main complication of a calcaneal fracture is subtalar arthritis. That's all for this video. Thank you.